Hello everyone and welcome to your audio basics training. I'm going to show you how to edit a single file, a uh, single track in Adobe Audition. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. It goes a little bit quick, so follow along. Right here what you're looking at is just a blank Adobe Audition session. And so the first thing we want to do is to bring in the files that you've recorded. You've recorded these either on your iPad, on a Marantz recorder, or on a Zoom recorder. And you've, put, you've taken them also off of your SD card and put them in a file, hopefully on an external hard drive, not just your desktop. Because again, if it's on your desktop and your computer crashes, you could lose that file. So you always want to back it up and you have it in a folder that's going to be easy to find. So to bring that in now, you're going to come up to this box here, hover over it, that's the open file button, and you're going to click it, and it's going to bring you to your computer. So my, uh, my file is on the desktop and in audition intro files, and then I've named this session J2150, that's the class name, underscore Smith, my last name, underscore audio files, that's the project title. So that's kind of the formula you want to file. follow. So now the file we're going to be working with is smith underscore limerick underscore raw. Raw, that's the stuff that you've just recorded. It's the unedited versions. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open it up. And now you can see it's here in our Adobe Audition session. So the first thing to notice here is that we have a stereo file. Stereo means you can see there's these parallel waveforms split in the middle here. It's the same thing on the top and the bottom. We want that to only be one. And there's a very easy way to do that um, because you'll be doing this a lot. And you come up here to Favorites, click on Favorites, and Convert to Mono. And now we just have a mono file. And that's what we want to be working with. So I'm going to undo that to show you again. Once again, you're going to come up here to Favorites, Convert to Mono, and now you have a mono file. Okay, the next thing here is you can see that this is actually kind of soft. We're peaking here around negative 21, around negative 15. Um, that's a little bit low. It's not far off from negative 12 where we showed you um, to record on your recorders. But even if you are peaking at negative 12, that's great for recording, but we want it to be a little bit louder in our editing sessions, actually up here around negative three decibels, parallel down here at negative three. And there's a really easy way to bring that level up as well. You're going to come up here to favorites once again, and you're going to normalize to negative three decibels. And it just gets louder. So I'm going to undo that to show you again. Favorites, normalize to negative three. There you go. So now we're rocking. Now we're ready to edit. Um, so let's listen to the file that we have. So the way to do that, it's a quick key. It's just the space bar. And that's going to play. It's also going to pause. Um, it's going to pause the file. And you can see here, this is the little ticker that we have that's going to run over the sound files to show you where we are in the listening. All right, so I'm pressing play by using the space bar. Check one, two, check one, two. There once was a young woman named Bright, whose speed was much faster than light. She set out one day in a relative way <coughs> and returned on the previous night. Okay, so this is pretty good. There's not a lot of work we need to do. We need to get rid of the, check, the microphone checking up here, and we also need to get rid of the cough, and then it's going to sound like a complete limerick. So first, let's get rid of the microphone checking. And you can see that I have this mouse, um, this cursor. It, kind of, it looks kind of like it does in Microsoft Word, and it functions that way as well. You can click around, and it will move this ticker around. But you can also click and drag, and that's going to select a bigger, piece of the, a bigger piece of the sound file, much like it does the words in Microsoft Word. So I'm selecting this microphone check here, and now I'm going to press either delete or backspace, and now it's gone. So now our file begins like this. There once was a young woman named Bright, and that's what we want it to sound like. So now all we have to do is get rid of the cough, whose speed was much faster than light. She set out one day in a relative way <coughs> 
So the cough is right here. I'm going to show you how to be a little bit more precise in your editing as well. So I'm going to bring this ticker using the mouse and clicking right here, right to the beginning of the cough, and I'm going to press the letter M on the keyboard. And what that has done is put a marker here where the beginning of the cough is. You can see it's delineated up here, marker 01. It's also over here in your markers right here. And here, if you double click, you can change the name. So I'm going to change the name of this to cough, begin, press enter. And so now here and also here, this is telling me that this is where the cough begins. So if you have a really big file and you're making notes to yourself using these markers, it's good to label them like this. So we know where it begins. Let's listen to find where it ends. <coughs> and returned on the previous night. So the cough ends here, but also right here, there's a little bit of a breath. And right before you get into the rest of the limerick, I want to keep that breath because it sounds pretty natural to have me breathing in between, um, in between these two sound bites. So what I'll do is put another marker here by pressing the letter M. Shows up as a marker up there. Also shows up as a marker here. I'll double click it and call it cough end. So now, no matter where my ticker is, I know where the cough begins and ends where I want to edit it. So we can get even more precise here still by zooming in onto this waveform. And the way to do that is you hover your cursor, and then if you're using a mouse, you have the, the scroll. Um, and if you're using a laptop, you typically will have a two-finger scroll as well. So you just hover where you want to zoom in, and you scroll in. See that? And you can scroll out as well. So scrolling in and out. If you scroll in too far and you want to get out, you can actually come up to this button up here, the zoom out full, and click that, and that will bring you to the full zoom out. So again, you're scrolling in. One more quick thing. There's a little um, scroll up here that functions kind of the same way it would in Microsoft Word. You can see in this within this box, that's what you're zoomed into on the screen in relation to the whole waveform up here. You can see that. So you can actually move around within the piece like that just by clicking it and dragging it. So you scroll in and scroll out. Okay, so now that we're zoomed in, what we'll do to get rid of this cough is click the cursor here, just on the outside of the cough, beginning. Drag and select all of this, including just past the cough end. And the reason we're going just past of these markers is if they're inside the selected area, the markers themselves will be deleted once we delete this cough as well. So click either backspace or delete, and now that's gone too. I'm going to zoom out to the full file, and this is what we're looking at now. Let's take a listen. There once was a young woman named Bright, whose speed was much faster than light. She set out one day in a relative way and returned on the previous night. So it's pretty good. We've got this excess sound back here, so I'm going to drag and select that all and delete it. Now we have a pretty good file. Um, when we normalize this to negative 3, you can see that this file is still peaking around negative 12. That's because the cough was so loud. The normalization follows the loudest point and normalizes that to negative 3. So the cough was going up here, but that left the rest of this down below. So before we finish this, we're going to normalize it one more time to make sure the whole file is good and loud. So we'll come up here to favorites again normalize to negative three and there we go now we have a nice loud file let's listen there once was a young woman named bright whose speed was much faster than light she set out one day in a relative way and returned on the previous night so that's pretty good this is no longer a raw file this is a final file that we want to save into our folder so what we'll do is we'll come and click File, and we're going to save as, 
if you just press save again, it will just save it. It will override your raw file. So you want to save as, and this screen is going to pop up. So the first thing to do when you're saving this file is to tell the computer where you want it to be saved. We want it to be saved in our folder. So we come up here to Browse and click Browse. And we find our folder, j2150 underscore smith underscore audio files. That's where we want to save it. Look, there's our raw file. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to rename this. So the way to rename it, the naming conventions that um, the JSchool library has, has suggested for us is first you start with the class, so j2150 underscore name smith underscore assignment title limerick and then you want to underscore the date and you want to use the year 2017, the month 08, and the day Two, five. And you're going to be saving it as a dot .wav file, W-A-V. So now that name is different, and you're going to click Save. But it's still not actually saved. We've just told the computer what to name it. And you can see here the name has been changed. And we've told the computer where to save the file. That's right here in the location. And we've told it to format it as a dot .wav. Now it's possible that your Adobe Edition will have it selected as an MP3. And you can just change that by clicking the drop down menu and going to Wave PCM. It shows you it's a dot wave. There you go. And so now we're going to press OK. And now you have a saved file. And you can see here in Audition, it's changed the name of the file as well. And so this is the file that you're going to upload and you're going to turn in. So that's all there is to it. Now go out into the world and make some great audio. Take care.